Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of work in response to the artist Louis Jove. And you'll see that I have already opened up an A4 new project and I have also grabbed a page of an old book. Just googled old book page and I'm control Cing to copy and control Ving to paste that image into my project. Okay, and then shrinking it down, resizing. Um, remember to press shift when you're resizing to keep it the same shape. And then I'm duplicating that layer by right clicking on the layer. And again, right click, duplicate. And again, right click, duplicate. And one last time, right click duplicate and that gives me a row of pages I'm now going to select all those layers and merge layers so that they all go into one layer just going to resize that so it fits and then I'm going to duplicate that layer so I have two of them and then I'm going to merge those two and duplicate those it's a quick way of just filling the whole page with that same page. And again, duplicate. And that will do. And one final merge. So all of my pages are now on one layer. And there you go. Okay. Right, next up, I already took this picture of my daughter. And I'm going to take from above the eyebrow to below the lips and I'm going wider than I need so that I can ensure that I fill the page and as per usual control C to copy control V to paste into this project and I'm resizing holding shift to keep it the same shape and that is good that fills the shape okay then I'm going to turn her black and white image adjustments black and white OK, and then I'm going to up the contrast image adjustments, brightness and contrast, and I'm going to bring up the contrast and I'm going to bring up the brightness to make it a more stark image. OK, click OK. And then lastly, on that layer, I'm going to go above it to the drop down menu and I'm going to drop down to, I think, multiply. And that's going to show those pages through. OK, next up to replicate the kind of grungy effect in Louis Jove's work, I found this kind of watercolour splash, I think I found on Google. And I'm going to cut and paste that in too. And I don't care if I stretch this. I'm just going to stretch this to fit the whole space. And I'm going to do the same again. Just move it down first and then turn it black and white, image adjustments, black and white, OK. And then go to that drop down menu above the layer and go down till I get the best effect. There it is. OK. Right, next up we need to put some drips from her eye. And so I found these watercolour drips on Google and I've removed the white background with the magic wand tool. And I'm just going to choose these bluey purple ones here. Control C to copy them, Control V to paste them in. And they're going from her eye to the bottom of the page. So I'm just going to enlarge those and drag them into position. OK. Don't worry if that's a bit messy at the moment. We're just going to drag that down and already it's beginning to disappear. And the same as before, we're going to be using the drop down menu to go to multiply so that they show the pages through. And this time I'm going to grab some pink ones. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. There you go. Resize these as well. And 
Hands on the bottom. And just make those a bit slimmer. And I'm not entirely sure where to fit these over here. Mm, let's try over the other side. No, I think they look okay there. Don't worry if they overlap for now, because when you go to the layer style, layer blend, I should say, it's going to blend nicely and overlap. Okay, right. We've got a little bit over the eye, so I'm going to use the eraser tool to make sure it's a good size and just get rid of that bit over the eye. There's a bit of blue there as well. I'll go to the blue layer. Just take off that bit there. Okay, right. That's good. Now I also got these kind of other drips from Google, watercolour drips. Took away the background as per usual with the magic wand and pressing delete. And I'm just going to cut and paste these in. Make sure the layer's at the top so you can move it. And I'm going to make these big coming from the top. A bit like that. Okay. Uh, but I don't want these to be as colourful. I'm going to change these blue. So image, adjustments, black and white. Okay. And then image, adjustments, colour balance. And I'm going to pump up the blue slider. Okay. And that's not blue enough. So image adjustments, hue saturation again. And whip up the saturation all the way to the top. And that gets them nice and blue. And as with all the other things, drop down menu above the layers. And going to the effect that works best. Okay. And I think this might be a little too dark. So what you can do is go to the layer opacity above just bring down the opacity that's better it's a bit lighter okay now i'm going to right click on the layer and duplicate it because i want to put some more coming from the other side at the top but we're going to make that a bit bigger i think yeah nice so it drips down more click ok and we'll try for a different color so duplicate that layer too and image adjustments hue saturation and sliding the hue bar over it's going to get us different colours, maybe a bit more saturation, pinky, reddy, purple, something like that, maybe more of a red, that'll do. Okay, drag that out and up, I'll make this really big. And I also don't want people to know it's the same drip, so I'm just going to flip it, so I'm grabbing the handles going left to right. There we go. Moving that over there. That'll do. Lovely. Okay. Right. And this really, at this moment in time, you could say this is it. But I'm just going to do some tweaks. So I'm going to go on the layer at the top and I'm going to right click and go flatten image. So they all go into one layer. And then I'm going to go image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. And I'm just going to whip up the brightness and the contrast again just to make it a little bit more popping, if you will. Okay, and that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful.